In this video, we're going to look at how to zoom in on the effects monitor to make it easier to work with our effects in Avid Media Composer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This will be a real quick video just to show you how this works. And this is going to work with any effect. First, we'll just try like maybe a blur effect. We'll just throw the blur right on our clip. Awesome. And then we need to enter effects mode. So we'll click our effects mode button there, pop right into here. And to zoom in on Windows, we hold down Control on our keyboard and click and that zooms us in. Pretty cool. We also have these enlarge buttons down here and the reduce. So we click enlarge and it enlarges right in the middle of the frame. Okay. Now if I hold on control on windows or command on Mac, hold on control and say, I really want to zoom in on her over here. So hold on control. And you'll notice that when I click over here with my magnifying glass, it zooms in closer to this area. So if I click even farther over in this edge, it zooms in closer in this area. Pretty cool. Now, how do we move around? Hold down Control and Alt on Windows or Command and Option on Mac, and you can see our cursor turns into a hand. So now we can pan and scan around our image to find exactly the target that we want, for whatever the case may be. Now there, I just hit Control and Shift, and that's the next shortcut I wanted to tell you about is Control and Shift and click on Windows. Let me zoom in first. So Control and Shift and click, and it hops us all the way back out. That should be command and shift and click on Mac. Okay, so those are the three main shortcuts you'll want to know. Control turns into our magnifying glass. When we're in effects mode, you have to be in effects mode. If I'm not in effects mode, I hold down control, click, nothing happens. Okay, I'm in effects mode. I really want to zoom in on his eye. So hold the control, position our magnifying glass over his eye and click. Again, I'm on Windows, so I'm holding down control on Mac. That's command. Okay, so holding down control. Do it again, and you can see every time I zoom in, over here we have a readout of how far we're zoomed in. Right now we're at 2x, we'll click again, holding down control of course, 4x, holding down control and click, 8x, holding down control and click, and now we're all the way back out. All right, so hold down control, click somewhere in the frame, zoom in, hold down control, alt or command, alt on Mac, and we can pan and scan around our image, and now we're ready to zoom out, we can use our reduce button, or we can hold down control and shift or command, and shift on Mac and click, and we zoom all the way out. This is very useful for all kinds of effects. So here we have a blur. We can zoom in and then grab our tool. That way we're certain that we're blocking out just the portion that we want to block out. And then control shift, click, zoom all the way out. Pretty cool. And this works, as I said at the beginning, with all effects. So I could grab something from the balloon category, maybe 3D warp, pop it on here, Enter effects mode, find exactly where we want to zoom in, hold out control and click, zoom right into the area I want, control alt, pan and scan, control shift, click, zoom all the way out, and that's with 3D warp. Cool, very useful for all kinds of effects. Works with third party effects, of course, so here's something from new blue effects. We'll just uh, throw this over here. This is a color effect, as you can see, and we can, again, control, Zoom in, zoom in, control alt, move around a bit. And we can manipulate our effect however we, we want. Pretty cool, said so we like that. And if we close this, hops us right back out because now we're in the record monitor instead of in the effects monitor to another clip where we already have a blur effect applied, but maybe this would make more sense with something like a paint effect. Come to image, grab our paint effect. Like I said, this works for all kinds of effects and we're already zoomed in here. So hold on control, shift, click that zoomed us all the way out. Grab our shape, we really want to zoom in. So control, click in wherever we want. Maybe we want to recolor her fingernails or something. This is not the right shape for that, but we could do that by zooming into our effects editor to make sure we get this exactly perfect. Control shift, click all the way out. Of course, I'd have to reshape that. And another time when zooming in on the effects editor really helps is when you are using tracking. Now we've covered this in a couple of videos, but I wanna make sure I cover it in this one as well. So when we're doing tracking, we wanted to make sure we're getting our points, our targets exactly right. And we probably can't see that on a fully scaled out image. So again, hold on control or command on Mac, click, 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 control alt or command, option on Mac to pan and scan around, to make sure we're grabbing the area that we want to grab, control shift, I'll zoom all the way out so I can grab my outer box there. Awesome, cool. So now we know we have targeted just the area that we want. So we have our tracker exactly right. So now we know 
we'll get a good track and we can go ahead and start tracking. Okay, so that is how you zoom in, pan and scan, and zoom out when you are in effects mode in Avid Media Composer.